What's up guys, this is Captain Bacon Strips, and today I want to talk about Planetside 2 because I had to close beta and I played on PC, but it just came out like four or five weeks ago on PS4. It well to the public at least. And when it first came out I was gonna do this video, but it's it was it just ran really bad. Like the performance was really bad, okay? Like if you went into a battle and a little bit bigger than this one. Just probably anything that had more than 48 players on each team. Or 48 player, 48 allies and 48 enemies. Anything bigger than that, you, you would get glitching, people walking on thin air. Your frame rate was down to like 10 frames per second and it was just bad. It was terrible. But they've improved obviously. Also, they fixed the crashing issue from the closed beta, so that's really good. And I just wanted to talk about some of the things in Planetside 2 now that it's running good. So first of all, they have if you played when it first came out and were pushed away because of how bad the performance was, don't worry, it's a lot better now. I get a solid 60 frames per second even when I'm streaming. So it, it the performance is great. Also, if you played the closed beta, you would know the crashes were real. There were so many crashes. It would crash every... If you were lucky, you could get a good hour without crashing. If you weren't... I mean, I, I remember one time I was trying to stream, I crashed every five minutes or so. So, the crashes are fixed, the performance is fixed, and it's altogether good. And if you're thinking about getting this game, do it. It's free, it's fun, it's huge. But if you're going to get it, get some friends to get it. Because this game is best played with a team. With friends, I'd say. I play with three or four friends. That's all it takes to make the game amazing. Also, you can just go to Game Chat and have fun. But it's way more fun with people you actually know. So I just want to do kind of like a, a little mini tutorial today. I just want to go over the maps, how they work how everything works not everything how a few things work and if y'all want I'll go over it later so I'll meet you when I get to the map okay so quick overview of the map this is where you get most of your information you can see how many people are in a battle you can instant action I'll go over all this in another video but there's also more continents you can go to which you warp through which is this at a warp gate you can go to warp through them or you can actually just go over a continent itself and warp to the continent using that. There is also a total of four real continents Amrish, Esamir, Indar, and Hasid. There's also Colts here, but you can't go to Colts here after you're level 15. It's more of a tutorial map for beginners. I don't personally like it. I like the bigger maps. So now let's go check out some of the. Okay, so these are the land vehicles. There's a total of five. There's this one, which is the Flash, the Harasser, the Sunderer the lightning and the prowler so now I just want to go over each and every vehicle and tell you what it does and what it's good for so this is the flash it's a super fast well it's a pretty fast ATV really good for getting around it goes anywhere really it takes you and one other passenger uh, you can equip guns on them but I don't really use guns on them because they're really hard to aim with this is the harasser it can hold a total of three people has a turret mounted on top and a place for a usually an engineer to sit in the back to heal the harasser as you go it also has a turbo which helps it go very fast it's probably the fastest vehicle in this game as far as land vehicles this is the sunder it can hold up to 12 people which is a whole squad it has two turrets mounted on top used to defend it it's mainly used as a mobile spawn point it's pretty slow doesn't have the best turning but if you're attacking a base and you want to spawn on that base you take a sunder and you deploy it so you can you can spawn and go attack whenever. This is a lightning. It only holds one person. It's an anti-tank vehicle. It's pretty fast. I think the highest it goes is 55 miles an hour. And it's it's mainly used mainly for sunders and prowler fighting. You can destroy sunders with it really easily. This is the prowler. It has two guns, to holds two people, a turret on the top and then a gun of choice on 
as your gun. So it's really good for taking out lightnings and sunders and really any vehicle, even infantry. Alright then, planes. There is a total of four planes, these three and then a galaxy which has its own terminal because it's so massive. This is a mosquito. It's the Terran Republic specific dogfighting one. It's very fast, very agile, very light armor. The equivalents to it on the other team are Scythe and Reaver. We'll go over that in another video. This is the Valkyrie. It holds a total of five people. It has one belly gun, but it's medium speed, medium armor. Infantry can damage these last two. Um, it's really good for getting a small team around if you don't want to go by land. It, you can just fly there, and it's really good. Me and my team use this a whole lot. This is a Liberator. I actually haven't unlocked this yet, but it has two guns, the tail gun and the belly gun. And a pilot. It holds a total of three people. It's slow, but it has super heavy armor. This is the Galaxy Terminal. It has its own terminal. This is what it looks like. The Galaxy is a massive plane. It has four guns for four different gunners. It can hold a total of 12 people. It's pretty much the center of the sky. They're really strong, have heavy armor, and they're really good if you want to get to like a landing pad and have people spawn on that as long as you can get there without getting shot by the anti-air guns. So now let's go over some of the new things in the classes. Okay, so this is how the classes are set up. They really haven't changed since the closed beta if you saw that, but if you didn't, this is just a good look at it. All the classes are set up like this, they just have different abilities, which I can go over in a different one. But what I really wanted to go over is they added so many new appearance helmets and all kinds of stuff, which I'll, I can go over, I can make a video out of just appearance if I wanted to. But anyways, one thing they did take away when they added all these new appearance items is you cannot buy appearance items with certs anymore like you could in the beta. You have to use battle cash now, which is kind of sad, but it's okay. They didn't add really any new armors. It's still just composite gold trim and uh, lumi fiber. But they did add a whole lot of new helmets and a whole lot of new skins. So I just want to go look at some of the skins real fast. You can see there are so many. There were there were quite a few when the beta was out. Now there's even more. So I went ahead and spent 20 bucks, got some battle cash, and bought made myself decked out as far as my appearance goes. Because I like to not look like a noob in the game. I encourage that, but you don't have to. It's a free-to-play game. It's not pay-to-win. So if you don't want to spend money, you don't have to spend money. I just like to look cool. Um, and it's understandable but that these are all so expensive also because it's a free-to-play game, so they have to make money somehow. So that's really all I wanted to show you as far as the classes go. I can go over each, every individual class and do a really in-depth tutorial some other time. Um... But I just want to get this out. This is some of the new stuff in the game, and I just really like it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked, leave a like. If you want me to do a more in-depth tutorial over Planetside 2, I can do it. Just comment down below and let me know. If you like how I do my videos, make sure to subscribe. I, I'm going to be posting some more soon of me playing Planetside 2 with friends. I'll be posting some more over me playing uh, Payday 2 with friends, I play Dying Light with friends, I do everything with friends because I like it. But if you want to see more videos from me, just make sure to subscribe and I'll be posting them soon. Thank you, goodbye.